Hi, Joel Grimes here with another lighting tip. We're gonna do an overhead beauty shot using the 36 inch rapid bomb. So whenever I talk about lighting, I always have to start by this simple principle that I've sort of come up with over the years, and that is the bigger your source or your modifier in relationship to your subject, the softer the light. So if I have a three foot modifier like I have here as my overhead, if I do an exposure and it's too soft, I can back that light up and it'll be a little bit harsher. If it's too harsh, I move it forward. So really that's how I, I think about it. Is it too harsh or too soft? It's very simple. Normally I use a white wall or sweep in my studio and I get my whole set about 10 feet from that wall and it creates a very beautiful light gray because the light source is barely getting any light on the white wall. In this scenario right now, we are for taping, we've got the set pretty close to the, our background and we've got a gray cloth here and to get a little bit of value in that, I've added one extra light here just to give a little bit of a slight glow. Normally I don't use this light, so we would normally use this or call this a one light approach. We're going to add a little bit of fill underneath uh, Lydia, our beautiful model. And again, it helps to have a beautiful model in front of your lens because that just makes us look good. So let's go from here and we'll start kind of working kind of how I tweak this shot. All right, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this fill out and I'm going to show you what it looks like with basically the black uh, countertop here absorbing the light so there's no bounce underneath. So ready? One, two, three. And you can see I have my light right literally smack over the middle of my camera. So this looks pretty good but I know from experience that I really need to have a fill to bounce in some light. So basically what's going to happen is this light here is going to come and skip off this surface and fill underneath her. And so I'm going to position this, I'm going to hand hold it and just drop it out of frame. Ready? So we're going to do the exact same thing. One, two, three. And I know immediately, oh my goodness, that just makes everything glow. Now. Right now, I've got this box, this Octabox, literally touching and if not pushing down around my lens a little bit. So I'm going to show you what's going to happen. If I raise this up, let's just say that's about, what, six inches? And we're going to do another shot, keep the fill card in the exact same spot. And what this is going to do is this is going to give me a little bit more shadow. Here we go, one, two, three, under the eyes, nose, lips, and chin. It's very subtle here, but there's, it's going to be, you'll see the difference between the two. If I want even more, I can raise it up, say another six inches. And you'll see that by raising my light up and down, I have the ability to control how much value I have under the chin. And that's, to me, a little too much for my taste. Again, for as... As an artist, that's a decision that you can make and your client may say we want a little more drama, a little more edginess to it. And by raising that light up, it gives me that option. But I like it back down lower. And like I said, normally what I do is I almost have, and I have that modifier touching my lens. So what we're gonna do, let's get you to give me a little smiles and just kind of work it a little bit. And let me get my focus here. Ready, one, two, three. I can't recycle too quickly here, but let's just keep going. Ready again? Perfect. So I'm just letting her kind of do her thing. It's much easier for someone to be themselves than me trying to over, um, you know, direct them. So this is kind of how I do it. I just watch her. I love it when you bring that one shoulder up. Do that right there, right there, right there, right there. Beautiful. Okay, now give me a little laugh. Actually, give me a little laugh out loud. There you go. Very nice. Oh, that's great. So 
So there you have it. That's kind of how I work this. It's very simple. You could have a senior uh, portrait in front of you, um, or you could do a beauty cosmetic shoot for a client. Really, it's endless of what you can do. One light, basically, overhead. And again, go back to the very simple principle. The bigger the source, the relationship to the subject, the softer the light.